everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathleen and today's video we are doing a book tag and an unboxing. But first of all, I just wanted to say even though the title of this video says anti-Valentine's Day, I wanted to say happy Valentine's Day to everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful day with your special someone. And I found this tag through Grace from G Swizzle Books. She did this tag last year and I thought it was a lot of fun and I wanted to do it this year. And I also will be doing my sips by unboxing. This is actually a very special box because it is Valentine's Day themed. So let's go ahead and get started first with the unboxing and then we'll get to my book tag. Alright, so in case you guys don't know, Sips Buy is a tea box. It is $15 per month and it is free shipping within the US. So there are four types of tea that you get and you get enough tea for 15 cups of tea, which is a lot of tea to be honest. I have so many leftovers from previous boxes that I got. I do get these boxes uh, for free to review for you guys and I pretty much really love it. I've been drinking tea pretty much every day now because I have so many and there's so many different varieties and I absolutely love it. And the normal boxes are actually curated for you so the regular boxes that I receive are not necessarily the boxes that you're gonna receive because when you sign up you do fill out a tea profile and you tell them what kind of tastes you have what kind of things you like to drink if you're if you like more fruitier taste or sweeter taste every box is different for everyone however this is a specially themed box it is a Valentine's Day box so opening up we do get this little cute little card that tells you the theme of the box and this theme is the Galentine's Day Tea Party Box. So it says, Dear tea lover looking to celebrate the most powerful love in the world, a love between gal pals. Uh, throw in your very own Galentine's Day tea party. So this is kind of celebrating friendships, which I personally love. I feel like on Valentine's Day, you don't have to just celebrate your loved ones, your significant other, but you can celebrate friendships as well. So this is the Galentine's Day tea party box. This card usually comes in every box because on the back it'll tell you all about the teas that you got in the box. So the first tea that I see that I got is called Soulmate and this is an organic herba matte mocha blend. Ooh, it sounds really good. It sounds like it's more of like a sweet chocolatey taste and this one is high caffeine. The next tea that I got is the roasted herbal tea and this is caffeine free and this is called the boutique chocolate raspberry <laughs> and that sounds freaking amazing. That's the next tea that I got. Oh, it's a large sample. This is from a company called Tea Lightful. And this is a chocolate Thai loose leaf black tea. I love chai tea. They're amazing. And usually black tea are high caffeine. So this is a high caffeine tea. And the final tea that I got in this box is called the Cupid Tea. Cup Cupidity Tea. I, I don't know how they mean to pronounce the name and it's called the somebody loves me tea and this is black tea smitten with rose chocolate and strawberries it's a loose leaf high caffeine tea and there you go that is all of the tea that I got again you get four different types of tea in the box and you get enough tea for 15 cups of tea and I've been drinking these every day because they are so so good if you guys are interested in subscribing to this box I'll go ahead and leave the link down below for you guys to check out the website if you like however if you are a first-time subscriber I do have a code for you guys it's for five dollars off of your first box I don't get anything out of it it's exclusively for you guys and the code is love of books five it's for five dollars off of your first box so if you're interested go ahead and check out the link down below all right so now that the unboxing is over we're gonna go ahead and do the anti valentine's day book tag i was not tagged to do this tag by anyone this tag was created by isabella books so i'll leave her original video linked down below for you guys to check it out but let's go ahead and get started with the question all right so question number one hating on all romantic stuff pick a no romance or a light romance book so this question was actually a little harder for me i really had to look in my shelves to see if i had a book that had very light romance or no romance because I read primarily YA and a lot of YA have romance in it but the book that I chose that I do feel has very light romance is Dear Martin by Nick Stone this is actually an amazing amazing book and it's actually very very short it's like 200 pages and this is about a boy whose friend gets shot by an off-duty police officer it's a really really great book I just loved it all right question number two throwing an ex-boyfriend's ex-girlfriend's memorabilia into the bonfire which books would you 
throw in a fire and so I actually have two answers for this the first one I don't even feel like getting it I, I honestly don't even know why I still have this book because I don't like the book at all and that is Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins I read this book like two years ago and I did not like it mostly because I did not like the character of Anna she is literally one of the most annoying characters I ever read she does nothing but complain in the books she has no idea what's going on she's very I feel like she's very self-centered and I just I didn't like her she ruined the whole book for me another book that I would love to throw in the fire is November 9 by Colleen Hoover I have read another book by Colleen Hoover that I really enjoyed but November 9 I had a lot of issues with it especially with how the book ended and that the ending just ruined the entire book for me so I did give the book two stars and so I would love to throw that book in the trash as well or well, in the in the fire pretty much but I don't own a copy of that book anyway so yeah and I would never spend my money all right question number three bashing all rom-com movies I don't agree with this because I actually personally really love rom-com movies like they're so fun but the question is trashy books you just love to hate <laughs> when I read this question the first book series that really popped into my head was the Twilight series. I read the first book before it got really really popular like way long ago many years ago and I didn't think the book was anything special and then I tried to read the second book and I actually DNF the second book and the book was just very boring and I it's like I don't get this so I put it down and I never picked it up. I've seen the movies I think the movies are somewhat entertaining but it is a trashy book that I just love to hate I guess. <laughs> Alright question number four single and loving it book series you broke up with so there have been a quite a few series that I have read the first book I just didn't enjoy so I'm not continuing on with the the rest of the series. Pledge series by Kimberly Durding was one. I read the first book. I wasn't impressed uh, so and the, the sad part is, is I actually had the whole series but I didn't like the book the first book I actually I think I gave it two stars and so I, I have unhauled that whole series recently I read the summer I turned pretty by Jenny Han which is very sad that I did not love the series because I actually loved to all the boys I love before series but the first book was just okay I gave it three stars but I just I didn't love the book enough to continue on question number five I'm my own Valentine favorite independent woman character <sighs> there's lots I mean the first one that always comes to mind is Hermione Granger I think she's great and I think like she does embody what an independent woman should be um, I really love Hermione in the books all right question number six romantic love is not the only kind of love favorite book friendships so there are many book friendships that I really love. I have read many books that have great friendships but one that really stood out to me is one a book that I recently read within the past few months and that is Foolish Hearts by Emma Mills. This was actually my first Emma Mills book and this book made me want to read all books by Emma Mills um, and she's a contemporary author this is a contemporary book and I normally don't reach for contemporary books but she from reading this book she makes me want to reach for more contemporary books and this had such a great female friendship and I loved it. It was honestly one of the reasons why I loved this book so much. I gave this book five stars. Uh, question number seven. Eat all the chocolates and ice cream and candy. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Your best comfort reads. To me, even though contemporary is not necessarily a genre I reach for primarily, but I feel like contemporaries are very good to, for being comfort reads. I love, for example, the To All the Boys I Love Before series. I feel like that's a great, great comfort read. I love also any of the Sarah Dessen books I feel like they're great comfort reads usually when I think of comfort reads I tend to think of my favorite contemporary books and there you go guys that was actually all of the questions if you guys would like to do this tag I tag you I think it's a lot of fun just to kind of like break up the routine a little from doing Valentine's Day book tags every Valentine's Day so anyway guys let me know down in the comments below which questions you agree with me because I would really love to know and don't forget if you're interested in subscribing to Sips by the links are down below as as well as don't forget to use my code love of books five for five dollars off of your first box anyway guys thank you all so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video please give it a like if you did and subscribe to my channel if you're not already all of my social medias are linked down below including Twitter Instagram and Goodreads if you like to follow me on those platforms I hope you guys have a wonderful day thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one and happy Valentine's Day bye